Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking you through a tour of Windows Phone 7. What I'm going to do is show you the stock applications in the start menu and just go through them and show you the features and what each application does. So I'm going to start from the top here and on my menu it's Mail. So if I go into Mail, you can see here at the top it's Keeping to the Metro UI. We have All Messages. If I swipe to the right we have Unread Messages. Swipe to the right again we have Flagged Messages and again we have Urgent. Here's your messages, this is what it looks like when you have a message, this is the message view. Uh, basic features of a mail client, download pictures, um, pretty much that plain text view here. Uh, at the bottom we've got a few options, so you can choose to respond which will reply to the email, you can delete it or you can go to the next or previous mail. You can also flag it, you can mark it as unread or you can move it to a different folder. So if I go back and press the dots down here, from here you can see there's settings, there's add an email account, you can make a new mail, you can select multiple items to delete, you can check different folders and you can sync your mail. So that does a send and receive and pulls in all the new mail off the server. So if I go back, <coughs> I'm going to show you the next one down which will be alarms. Here you can see very basic. Um, on and off switch here for your alarm. If I tap on the alarm, <clears throat> I get an option for the time, how many times to repeat it. So if I tap on the options, you can select which day you want. Uh, also, you can select the sound which you want. So that's the sound I have for my alarm. Also, you can name it, and that's pretty much it for the uh, alarm function. So if I press back, you can also add a new one at the bottom there and there's no more options there so if I go to the next item down it's calculator calculator is pretty much basic functions um, scientific options here if you rotate it basic pretty much just a basic calculator uh, with scientific capabilities um, I wouldn't say it's as feature rich as the iPhone version because uh, it looks to me like this doesn't have as many features or nowhere near as many features as the iPhone scientific calculator. So yeah, just a basic calculator really. If I uh, go back and show you the next item down, which will be calendar. Here, um, as soon as you go into the calendar view, you get the first screen which is agenda. So this is the different things you have in your calendar that are coming up or that have passed. So as you can see, this is 15th of March, so that's already passed. And this was 26th of March, which was yesterday. And today, no appointments there. If I tap this thing here at the bottom left, which shows the current date, it'll take, well, it should take me to the current date, but as I'm already on it, uh, it doesn't matter. If I swipe to the right, I pr it takes you to the day view, so you can see everything you've got here, all times listed there, the side. Um, if I press that again, it'll take me back to the current day, so if I swipe down, press it, it goes all the way back there. If I go into the month view, which is this button here, it then takes you out and you can view different months by swiping up and down. So if I tap on a day, it zooms into that day. I can also add appointments and also I can choose which calendars that will be synced with my calendar. So <coughs> here you can see if I have Windows Live, uh, ticked then the calendars that I have on my hotmail account will be synced with this and same with my gmail account So I've got that on you can also choose a col color so that you can separate the different calendars calendars from the different mail accounts And moving on to the next one. So the next one down is camera Camera is pretty cool. Um, I've not seen anything like this camera in um, well in a another operating system or mobile operating system even because you can see there's quite a neat feature if I swipe to the left here or swipe to the right go to the left and um, you will see the previous um, thumbnail of the video or picture that you've taken so from there you can play it, it tells you what time or how many seconds the video runs for also if I pinch I think I can do it there I can pinch to zoom out uh, if I had more pictures or videos, you'd be able to see all the pictures and videos, the thumbnails of those. And what the cool feature is that the camera still goes. It keeps going so I can swipe and as you can see, it's still capturing uh, footage there. 
the top right here you choose whether to take a picture or whether to record a video there's also settings so here you can have an effect resolution I'll change that to 720 uh, metering mode not sure what that does uh, flicker adjustment and autofocus. You can also choose to turn the flash on, and you can zoom in and out with these toggle buttons here. Um, but for, as for the camera app, that's about it, and that's probably about it for this video. And the next video, I'll be covering the rest of the applications or a few more of the applications. Um, so if you want to see the rest then subscribe, um, if you like this video like it, if you've got any questions leave them in the comments section. Uh, yeah and that's about it for this video so I'll see you guys next time.